Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about how to get XP in Rec Room and where you can get it, and the best ways to get XP in Rec Room, so the fastest. Okay, so one thing most people don't know about XP, you get it from logging in every day. So if you log in every day, you get a bit of XP. And another thing, always do your daily challenges, because you get XP for doing your dailies. Even though it only looks like tokens and you only see tokens, you still get XP for doing it. So I'm going to show you my level right now, and then I'll show you my level after I do the uh, dailies. I am back. I have completed all my daily challenges. Let me show you. Great job. We'll check in tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Now we go to my level. And it has slightly increased. Not very much since um, I am above level 30. But it, I would recommend doing this if you are under level 30. And Another way to get XP in this game is getting cheered by people. Getting cheers will give you XP that will increase you slightly but if you go around getting a lot of cheers then you will get a lot of xp let me show you this is my level right now i have about here we are just gonna accept all these don't ask why i have so much cheers now I need to go to a different room and reload into my dorm room. I will be right back. Real fast, came back, and my level is now that much higher. Doesn't look like much, but since I'm above level 30, it's not going to be much. Now I'm going to show you rooms that you can do that like are do's and don'ts for leveling up. Okay, so when it comes to leveling up from Rec Room Original Rooms and Community Rooms, Community Rooms do not give you XP. So do not play community rooms if you're looking to get XP. Now, Rec Room Originals. Okay, so if you're going for a Rec Room Original to level up in, do not play Stunt Runner. Stunt Runner gives you no, almost no XP at all. And it just, even if you get a high rank, it won't give you very much XP. Now, for the Rec Center Lounge and, like, Park and stuff, it won't give you the same amount of XP if you played, like, Paintball or something like that. But that, those things now give you XP. So if you wanted to ch chill in a lounge or rec center, you will get XP for it. Not very much, but you still will. Another good way to level up is Disc Golf. Disc Golf is a fast game mode that gives you a good amount of XP. And another thing, play if you're playing quests, get a, if you get a higher rank, the more XP you get. Okay. Next, if you're playing paintball or laser tag or dodgeball, you will get more XP if you win than if you lose. So if you're playing uh, paintball, dodgeball, or like laser tag, don't lose. And that's it for these. So I'm in disc golf uh, proportion right now to show you a little thing that will help you play if you're on VR. It will make it so much more easy if you want to get a good game. And the better the game uh, in this, the like, better the XP you get, more XP. So let me show you the little Easter egg. Okay, so you see where I am, where the rec room statue is, the rec room care player model. There is this waterfall pipe thing, and then you see those two rocks behind it. There's a sword hidden in between. Now, if you take this sword and go back, okay, now I'm back. If you take this sword, I'm not going to go into an actual game because I don't want to take that long, but if you hit a frisbee with a sword, it doesn't count as a stroke, so you can keep on hitting that frisbee with your sword. And you can almost, you can basically get a perfect game in disc golf on uh, VR. But be careful if you're using a sword, because if you get it on a mountain at, or like over somewhere you can't, where you can't get it back, it won't despawn. It won't like respawn. So that's one issue with this strategy. It will not respawn. And if you know how to shadow walk, then 
you can do that too when you get close. Because you can't just like hit it in. You have to. Bam. Okay. So this is the end of the tutorial. If you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, don't be afraid to leave a dislike or a comment telling me what I did wrong. Or if you need any explanation about anything, leave a comment. I will answer. I hope you enjoyed. And please like and subscribe. Goodbye.